Pete Townsend spoke on the song The Seeker, saying, It sounded great in the mosquito-ridden swamp I made it up in. Florida at three in the morning. Drunk out of my mind. But that's where the trouble always starts. In the swamp. Roger Daltrey shared a similar sentiment, saying, Nah, this is pretentious. Despite this, The Seeker is one of mine and many others' favorite Who tracks. It was written and released to be a non-album single, eventually finding its way onto the compilation Meaty, Beady, Big, and Bouncy. Townsend spoke on the track initially to Rolling Stone, saying, Quite loosely, The Seeker was just a thing about what I call divine desperation, or just desperation, and what it does to people. It just kind of covers a whole area where the guy is being fantastically tough and ruthlessly nasty, as he's being incredibly selfish and he's hurting people. Wrecking people's homes, abusing his heroes, he's accusing everyone of doing nothing for him. And yet at the same time, he's making a fairly valid statement. He's getting nowhere. He's doing nothing, and the only thing he really can't be sure of is his death. And at that least, dead, he's going to get what he wants, he thinks. The group were behind the eight ball with this track, as it was the first thing they did after the massive recording, release, and touring of Tommy. The song is famous for name-dropping the Beatles, Bob Dylan, and Timothy Leary. This was done by Townsend as a commentary on those looking for inner peace from pop culture and drugs, something he opposed at the time. After doing some takes at Pete's home studio, they decided to record at IBC Studio in London. They decided to enlist Kit Lambert as producer. Kit had been the catalyst for the group to create the rock opera Tommy and to move away from the short single-oriented songs they were known for. Unfortunately, Kit had tooth and jaw problems, which resulted in him leaving the production early. This resulted in the group self-producing the piece. For piano on the track, they brought in Nicky Hopkins, who had previously worked with the Kinks and the Stones. It would be released as a single with Here For More written by Roger on March 21st in 1970. It reached 21 in Canada, 19 in the UK, and 44 in the United States. After the song was released was when the band began to reflect negatively on it. It would be part of the set list for only two weeks during her 1970 tour, but it would eventually be added back in the 2000s. It would be featured in an episode of The Simpsons, as well as one of the Guitar Hero games. The Seeker, I think, is a fantastic track. I always took the lyrics as someone who was hungry for knowledge and willing to do anything to get it. I really like the release from Live at the BBC, where during the intro the announcer comes in and talks about the track. I'll link this version below. The band may not care for it, but it's a fan favorite, and if it's not on your Who playlist already, take this as a sign to add it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to help support this channel, like, share, comment, subscribe, check out my old videos, and I will see you guys next time.